you have anything to say say it in love not bitterness ephesians 4 15 speaking the truth in love yes sir welcome to another one so i, I actually love that uh, introductory part which i put there by apostle johnson suleiman that's what we stand for here on this platform so let's get into this video where he is going to be addressing all these fights which have been happening and they have caused a lot of um catastrophic um happenings in the body of christ even wherever i go whether it is on whatsapp or facebook or wherever there are fights and the body of christ it's like there are camps which are fighting against each other let's get into it they have been engrossed with all the stories they have read online i want to ask you a question what you know that makes you avoid a certain minister of god is it what god told you or what you read there was a man of god recently that was engrossed with some issues and a foreign media was on him and they were after him and all of that he lives abroad i don't even have an idea of the details that's how how uninterested i am i went into god's presence i said holy spirit what are you saying can I surprise you? It was something that was on the lips of even some pastors. I said, Holy Spirit, what are you saying? And the Holy Spirit asked me, about what? I said, about this person I heard is going through this. What do you say? And the Lord told me, he is not aware. He said, because it's not in his record. He said, I don't judge people the way you judge as mortals. It's not in my record. I was shocked but guess what it was everywhere god said it's not in my record i'm not aware i said but people are saying so i called up the man of god i said how are you doing man are you okay we spoke and he said have you heard i said i'm not i'm not interested i didn't call you for that i just want to know that god is not aware of any of those things being said can i surprise you on earth this saying this you know i heard a lot of stories well correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section whether i'm right or what but I think he's talking about Prophet Angel and he's talking about uh, all that media criticism that happened with regards to all that uh, Al Jazeera stuff. So he's going to be addressing this issue where we have a lot of young ministers who are still young in ministry and they have the audacity to say whatsoever things against ministers of god i'm trying to get to a certain conclusion so some videos you would have to see them i'm not attacking anyone but you would have to see them the first one is when prophet joel attacked prophet angel we are watching al jazeera sir we are watching may god give understanding uh, i don't have a house I, someone that is supposed to be an elder, an elder should know how to speak. An elder. And this other young minister was commenting on um, Apostle Arome Osai's appearance. And I believe uh, he's, he says that he follows Prophet Angel, he's a son of Prophet Angel. And what he did was really bad. These people, I tell them, don't copy me. Be unique. But Arome bends his mouth and everybody follows him. And he's not able to get healed. Because he doesn't even believe in miracles. If you perform any, he's always looking for. He's like the police in Christianity. Who gave him the title? Always looking for somebody to call fake, 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 evil, fake. So you are the only real person. So right? a lot of dishonor in the body of Christ. A lot of dishonor where we are having young ministers now attacking people who are supposed to be their fathers just because people are not in agreement it does not warrant you saying whatsoever thing i see it in the comment section i see a lot of people calling prophet angel a criminal i see a lot of people calling um apostle arome an agent of the devil they call him a wicked man just because we don't agree on certain aspects of the christian faith that does not mean we should use unholy words to describe um, each other so let's hear what apostle johnson Suleiman has to say about this don't tell people about fake prophets. tell them about god when people are full of god they will detect who a fake prophet is the first thing is negativity and hate do you know what the holy spirit is love if you have anything to say say it in love not bitterness ephesians 4 15 speaking the truth in love how will you stand on the pulpit how do you feel 
if a minister is weak should he hear your voice and feel condemned should he hear your voice and feel like you you want to tell a drunkard that he's going to hell he already knows you want to tell a criminal he's going to hell he already knows what he wants we should be careful the arrogance i see the arrogance i see today the arrogance it's alarming everywhere the arrogance and you know arrogance makes you see role models as colleagues people you once saw as role models all of a sudden because you now have a following online bitterness this is one big problem in fact this is the biggest problem in the body of christ today bitterness most of the attacks you are seeing this person is preaching against this person that one is talking in fact when preachers are talking against themselves you can easily de detect or decode who they are talking to people are throwing shades and on people people is so elementary so pedestrian but why so you got to be careful and i'm talking to you everyone you see this this hold it know it for yourself this is the only voice that's reliable know it for yourself and with regards to all these fights which are happening in christian Rome, this is what apostle mike had to say to give you an idea that there is no basis for dividing the body of christ it will be impossible no matter how you try when you divide the body of christ it's like splitting an individual apart nobody gains you know because we are not mature we allow crisis come in between us and then when one person is pulled down we assume that we have won and so today you find one aspect of the church carry dagger fighting the other aspect and we create a secret cabal system where we mentor people to muscle up with us and destroy the other person and we come out in in the media and act as if we are victims it's a manipulation from the pit of hell most of the battles going on in the body of christ today it is the captains that spearhead it they go and mentor the younger ones tell them things to instigate them and you find battles this is why many young believers never grow because while they are yet to discover christ they have already become arsenals in the hands of another man who should lead them in growth and they are fighting to defend his interests we and i hope and pray that this video that this message will get to the right audience to people who are willing to ensure that in the body of christ we walk in love and in unity even though we have differences we should live and walk united i always quote this verse it's because that's the verse that i love john 17 from 20 to 22 where the lord jesus is saying that proof that the father actually sent him is when his disciples are walking in unity so like share comment and subscribe share your thoughts in the comment section about what you have heard in this video tell me what you think in the comment section respectfully i do not condone any insults on any particular minister so let's be mindful of what we say in the comment section and also if you want more clarity on videos concerning such things I'm going to pin some videos in the comment section, in the pinned comment, as you can see them over there. So I'll meet you in the next one. God bless you. You are loved.